You know, for a second, it seemed like there was a glimmer of hope that there would actually be justice in the Botham John case. Because when we learned that his murderer was convicted of murder and not, you know, a lesser charge such as manslaughter, you know, there was just a moment of us being hopeful that for once there would be justice in a case where a police officer kills an unarmed black American. However, when we learned that Amber Geiger was only sentenced to 10 years, well, that's a sentence that we'd expect if she were in fact convicted of manslaughter. And when you factor in the likelihood that she'll probably be let out early for good behavior, it's safe to say that there was no justice in the Botham John case. And to make matters exponentially worse, well, a key witness in this case, 28-year-old Joshua Brown, was murdered over the weekend. Now, Mark Ramirez and Jennifer Emily of Dallas News reports a key witness in Amber Geiger's murder trial was shot and killed Friday evening at an apartment complex near Dallas Medical District, authorities said. Joshua Brown, a neighbor of Botham Jean and Geiger at the South Side Flats apartments, was slain about 10.30 p.m. in the 4600 block of Cedar Springs Road. Brown, 28, lived across the hall from John and testified about the night he was killed. A preliminary investigation shows Brown was shot in the back and thigh, a government official said on condition of anonymity. So the overall takeaway is that a key witness in a murder trial was shot and killed. This information is so difficult to process. It's like this is you know, a mafia movie that we're watching play out. Now, I want to play a clip report from CNN. Um, they kind of go over some general details about this story, but then they gloss over something that is really, really uh, fundamentally important to this case towards the end. Let's see if you can catch it. Last week, Geiger was convicted of killing both of Jean after walking into his apartment in 2018. She claimed to have mistaken his apartment for hers and thought he was an intruder. On the witness stand, 10 days before his own shooting death outside his home, Brown testified he heard the shots and saw Geiger outside his apartment. Brown got emotional, recounting, hearing his neighbor's voice from time to time. Lee Merritt, a civil rights attorney representing the Jean family, said on social media Brown lived in constant fear of gun violence and that his death, quote, underscores the reality of the black experience in America. Merritt also said Brown deserves the same justice that he sought to ensure for the Jean family. Investigators have released few details on Brown's death, only the witnesses heard gunshots and that they observed a silver four-door sedan speeding away from the scene. Police have not said if the murder is in any way connected to the Geiger proceedings. And Dallas police continue to investigate Brown's death. They are hoping that somebody who potentially saw something or heard something will actually reach out to them. And that right there is the issue, right there. In case you missed it, the Dallas Police Department will be conducting the investigation. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Because um, we don't know what happened here, okay? If we are using common sense, we'd expect this to be foul play. We would expect that this is probably retaliation because he gave a testimony that facilitated the conviction of Amber Geiger. We don't know if someone within the police department decided to uh, murder him in retaliation to send a witness or to send a message to other witnesses across the country. Hey, this is what's going to happen to you if you testify against a police officer. We don't know. I'm just speculating. I have no evidence that that's the case. But the point is that because there is a chance that this is possible or even likely, there needs to be an independent investigation into the murder of Joshua Brown. We cannot expect the Dallas Police Department to investigate themselves effectively and efficiently, and if they find wrongdoing, hold their own accountable. We can't expect that. We cannot expect that. So, of course, there needs to be an independent investigation, and um, federal authorities need to get involved. This is no longer an issue where, you know, the Dallas Police Department can investigate and that will suffice. Unacceptable. A key witness was murdered here. This is just shocking news. Like, every single American in this country should be shaken to the core over this. This is absolutely insanity. It's insanity. I don't, I don't know what to say. Two men killed, murdered, 
The second one, most likely because he was a key witness. But again, we can't confirm this. There's no evidence. It just is very, very suspicious. And if you don't suspect foul play, then, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's very, um, it's very odd that the key witness, 10 days after giving a testimony that led to the conviction of a police officer, is murdered. What do you say? You know, I, I don't know what to say. There's no words. There's no words in this situation.